So this past weekend we played against the Washington Justice in which we did very well, but then we played against the Paris Eternal in which it didn't go so well. So this week on Car Keys Reviews, I actually wanted to break down a play on the first map against Paris to see what we could have done better to have potentially taken the map. So as time winds down on the first map, the Defiant are on their back foot. They're down 1-0 and zero on King of the Hill, but they are up at 90% and half control. And you can see on the kill feed, they've cleaned up four Paris Eternal members. Let's see what happens. This would be a wild comeback for Toronto, because it really looked like Paris was going to just dominate this round and take it as Hanbin trying to get to the point on the Wrecking Ball. It gets flashed up by Surefour Fan. The Hammer not able to take him out. And this will be soon using the barrier, getting oh. back onto the point. But big first pickoff. A perfect from Nevix there as well, making it hard for Sparkle to, to get away safely. He's just been in midair up for the pile driver and he's a sitting duck for sure for. But Ben Vest pushes up, doesn't hit the shadow, but Beast Halo taking a lot of pressure right now, trying to stay alive. There's some Metro turrets behind him, so he can't move back too far either. He eventually succumbed, and now Nevix doesn't have a lot to work with here. He has his support, so he can stay alive, and that may be all that's required. Soon returns here on the trace, and a pile driver knocks Cruz up into the air. No, it was actually just the exo boots to get some altitude. Soon wants to wrap around to the backside here, but a deal, he's back on the Doomfist, and he's giving Bedbeth absolute hell. Soon almost finds the one clip and forces the Doomfist of Agilities away, but now Ben Best is knocked up himself. Nevix wants to try and find a way into the back line, but both Wrecking Balls are causing havoc right now, and a sound barrier for sure for means he can go a little bit more aggressive. Ben Best tries to back away, but Beast has a shadow, never oh. has a chance to use it though, as the Coalescence cut through. Field is switching over towards Zamora, it looks like that was a fortuitous decision now, as the Eternal have the numbers, and a Pulse Bomb soon opts to recall though now, the Sparkle finally gets rid of the threat of Kareev on the Moira, sure for eventually run down, and the Paris Eternal will clinch the map. Ooh. Very, very close on Control Center, but ultimately Li Zhang Tower goes to the Eternal. With so much happening in Overwatch at once, it's tough to figure out what the best course of action is when actually in a real game, especially against other professional players, but we have the pleasure of the replay viewer to slowly analyze potential ways to have stopped the Eternal. The Defiant are up multiple kills and a capture percentage ramping up from 90%, Paris are on the back foot and need to touch the point around 96% in order to trigger overtime. Hanbin is out on the ball and attempts to go in first, but is stopped by Surefour who stuns and fans the hammer for a ton of damage and ultimately boop back by Nevix. Although Hanbin didn't manage to make it to the point, he drew enough attention from the Defiant to allow FD God to perform a nice Lucio rollout with no one stopping him and the overtime fight begins. Perhaps if Cruz decided to watch the main entrance, he may have been able to boop FD God away or slow him down just enough since he came flying through at literally the last possible second, which would have ended the round altogether. Regardless, the Defiant had many opportunities to seal the deal during the overtime fight as well. With Sparkle out on Doomfist, Shurfor makes a quick turnaround to finish him off and was able to duel both Soon and Hanbin at the same time and take out the Symmetra while being lasered down by the turrets and the Wrecking Ball. After watching this over in third person, you can see there may have been a moment for Cruz or Nevix to turn and maybe help break the turrets, but again, it's tough in the moment because Beast actually managed to pin Ben Best who was stuck in Agility's' Junkrat trap. So there was probably a call out to finish off the enemy Ryan taking priority, which would have totally been fine if they managed to actually secure the kill. Surefour going 2 for 1 was already valuable, but keeping him alive or securing the kill on Ben Best would have likely ended the round there as well. In overtime, tank presence is one of the most important factors to draw the most attention and create the most space. Ben Best, after surviving the beast charge, returns the favor and charges him once he's healed up without having to worry about the counter charge, and with the help of the Lucio beat from FD God, the tables have begun to turn. Beast eventually goes down, which opens up the window of opportunity for the Eternal to clean up the remaining Defiant members. Kareev gets focused down, and although Sure 4 returns the favor on Sparkle, remember both Hanbin and Ben Best are still alive while only Nevix is the tank survivor on the Defiant. Sure 4 may have had an opportunity to have potentially finished off Hanbin here with the help of his team, but he lives with a sliver of health and gets the mega health pack. Toronto does stall long enough however for Beast to come back, and they re-engage with Cruz's Lucio beat. 
Unfortunately here, Agilities missed his Rocket Punch on Bembest, which would have bursted him for 250 health, and it would have definitely killed him, making this fight much easier to finish off in Toronto's favor. However, Ben Best lives and you can see how much attention a Reinhardt draws in these overtime fights, which loses out potential opportunities to kill the other Paris Eternal members. The fight has gone on for so long that Hanbin drops his minds to zone Toronto off, Fielder builds a coalescence, and Toronto ultimately loses this map. So, so close on multiple occasions, but that's Overwatch. It's such a fast dynamic game and every little thing counts when playing at this level. Hopefully you guys gained a little insight on this match and learned a little bit about professional Overwatch. And that's it for this week. Be sure to subscribe to the channel up here and watch the other episodes of the series down here.